In this video, I talked to Asaf from PPC Vina, who will be sharing with us advanced tactics for your Amazon advertising campaigns. And before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel of Orange Click and click the notification bell as well so that you get notified about new videos we are uploading where we talk to different Amazon experts, service providers, software creators, and even the event organizers for Amazon sellers. Hello, Asaf. So what you will be sharing with us today? Hey, Gustas, how are you? It's good to be here today. I'm going to talk today about advanced tactics on your PPC, different uh, hacks that you can do to help your PPC and create more sales. So we, you know, we are uh, next to the holiday period, holiday season. So people want to generate more sales and there are some special tactics that we've prepared and new features in Amazon that can help people or the shoppers, the sellers to sell more. Perfect, so let's jump into the content and slides you have. Today I'm going to discuss about PPC tactics and how to improve your advertising performance, especially now next to the holiday season. We want to sell more in Amazon. We have the options and the possibility to sell more. And there are specific tactics that we want to share uh, with the audience to, to make them maximize their sales. In a brief, my name is Asaf. I'm an advertising expert and business responsible for the business development in PPC Winner. In a brief, PPC Winner is a fully automated advertising software that creates and manage and advertising campaigns in Amazon. It's been used by Amazon sellers, the different brand names and agencies. I will go in more details later on. So I want first to talk about common advertising mistakes. We see thousands of campaigns uh, every year. We, we see how people interact with the PPC and what they are doing. And I want to help you to avoid from different advertising mistakes. So one thing and the most important thing is that your listing is not PPC ready. And what I'm saying about PPC ready, you need to make sure that your fixed your listing has all the right pictures on them. He has the right uh, keywords. He has the right description. He has the right bullets. So you, your, your listing will provide the most information for the potential shoppers because you have a lot of competition in, in Amazon and you need your listing to be shine. Okay, it has to be very beautiful. It has to be with the right pictures and the right uh, keywords and description. You need to have minimal, and again, I'm saying minimum, at least five reviews with five star rating before launching your first PPC campaign. Your competition is very high in, in Amazon and when your product will be, has some impressions um, next to your competitions, you need to have, give the people the confidence to buy a product. People like the based, people shopping behaviors based on other people experiences. So they are looking into your reviews, they're looking on the feedbacks. So it's very important that you, you have minimum five reviews okay, before launching our campaigns. We've seen many different products that's, uh, that are just being launched and it's very difficult to get the right the impressions and very difficult to get the sales that you're expecting. Uh, and you get very high cost in advertising and people are not satisfied when they are not getting the right targets, okay? So it's also a matter of your expectation. So you need to remember to have reviews. It's very important. Your pricing strategy has to be in line with your product life cycle. And when I'm saying that, I'm, I'm saying that if you're launching a product, you cannot expect that to have so many sales uh, uh, with your competition, okay? Um, when when you, there are three types of, of of, uh, of I divided to, to three types. You have product launching, you have uh, you have product growth, and you have maturity. Okay, you need to understand your product where it belongs and to do and to price accordingly. You also need to take to take attention your competition and to understand who your who is your competition, what is their life cycle, where their competition is, because once you are moving between different life cycles, the competition has been changed. 
So you need to refer to, your acti to their activities, to their pricing, to their actually marketing strategies to see it and to uh, view what they are doing all the time. So we see in several cases when people are choosing to do PPC campaign on the product which is less converting. Okay, especially when they have variations. So if you have same product with different variations, you need to choose the one that's actually creating the most converting sales because he's the star, he's the leader. You need to focus and, and give him the, 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 the highlights or the spotlights. People are also taking decisions based on wrong advertising data. People really doesn't know that there is some three, de three days delay or when getting back Amazon sales data. So when they're analyzing their, their getting decision based on their echoes or how much they spend, they don't see the full cycle. When you go into the reports and, and you're looking on what is the, the sales performance of your product, always take uh, uh, the report one to month, but reduce the three days, okay? To reduce the last, take off the last three days and compare it one month to month, week to week, never do a, a daily comparison because daily comparison doesn't really give you any information. You need to take a specific time cycle and compare it. Also, we can see that some people that has, let's say that they have specific keywords that have high echoes, they are feeling they are spending too much money. They don't check what is the keyword ranking. Sometimes if you take off the, the keywords that spends too much money, but they give you the, the, the possibility to, to be ranked on the first page. And when you are ranked on the first page, you also get organic sales. So before you're taking off any keywords or, or moving them to negative, check where they're ranked on. Check what is their location or position in, uh, in the ranking and don't stop keywords that ranked high. Uh, one first thing that I want to talk and share, share with you, or first tactic, is really about product targeting, okay? Product targeting is, is very important because this is where you can be, your product can be seen uh, on the sponsored, sponsored ads, on your competitors, competitors listing. And there are three types of uh, ways of doing that. The first thing is to be based on the category, it can be on your specific category, competitor assets, when you put, you enter the assets. And, and, and actually, you can also identify your competitors that you are selling on and launching this product targeting campaign. And how you're doing it, and, and is actually going to launching a product, launching a new campaign. You go into product uh, targeting, and you go to categories, and you can see that you can can refine your category. And over here, it's great opportunity to you to select your competition that your product is better, where, where you have clear advantage. For example, if your product has four star ratings, you click on uh, your competitors that have minimum or maximum three star ratings. So people that are going to, to see the listing, they will see also your product uh, sponsored ad, but they will see that you have better, uh, better rankings than the the the, 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 list, the competitor listing. Also, try to target products that has higher pricing than yours. So your product will be look much better than their their products. It will cost it less costly, and he has if he had it a combination here of better pricing and better ranking, most probably the potential buyer will click on your products and move it to your product. You also can target a product which, which are prime and not prime. So if you are prime, try to, to target a product which are not prime and you get clear advantage over them. And there are different strategies that I'm going to show and show you. First, you can base on, on competitor assets. So you can, over here when you go to the product targeting, you can click on, individual products, okay? And once you coin on, on future products, Amazon will give you some suggested products which are competing with your product, or you can search 
and enter your own list, uh, as I mentioned earlier. You can go, one thing that we recommend to do is you can go to your, uh, your you, you can download the report, the, the advertising report, identify the assets, your competitor assets that your product already been selling on them, and again, and coming over here and entering this list of competitors which your products sell on. And again, you can also go to suggested and view among uh, listing your competitor competitors which you feel that your product is much better. And you, sorry. And and a few strategies that you can you can use. Okay. Uh, you can ut utilize your advantages over your competition, as I mentioned earlier, based on reviews, based on pricing, differentiation, rating, if it's fulfilled by Amazon or not. Competitor asking that your products sell on, as I referred earlier and explained earlier. earlier. Advertise on other assets that you own, and this is important. Sometimes you can advertise on your other product and make sure that you create yourself. Well, you yeah, know, I heard about a few stories about uh, very high selling brands that actually invest in advertising in uh, with your, their own products and investing a lot of money or uh, high bidding on on and paying a lot of high bids in order that they will take the all all of the advertising on, on specific page. So they give themselves the most opportunities to sell when somebody accesses their listing. Also take off the competitors asking that they are low performing, okay? Uh, competitors which are stronger than, than, your, than you, than your product, try to put them on to negative and take them off. So you're not be shown on their, uh, on their listing. <clears throat> And also try to generate uh, traffic to your uh, to your product through advertising on asking the delivering high traffic. Different high brand names that that has a lot of traffic. <clears throat> Sometimes you can target them in very low bids in order to create this type of moving on from them to your product listing. And I want to show you an example how it's actually looking like when you advertise on your competitor. But let's say this is uh, uh, my listing. You see over here how Amazon is actually offering a lower price item to consider. It's very rude doing that. So because Amazon is giving the shopper here, there are other opportunities. Okay, so I paid a lot of money to be here and Amazon is actually giving the opportunity for other uh, products to be sell. Also, you can see over here how Amazon put four stars in above, okay? Recommending specific products which has four stars in above. So if you also have a product which has over four stars and you target uh, competitors with three stars or two stars uh, and you build up your competitor campaigns, you'll be also positioned here. And most probably shoppers will also consider going to, uh, to your product. Another example is sponsor product that relates to this item. Okay, you see here over here how they, they're showing that the product. And I want to show you how it looks in, on, on mobile. And it's very important to see also how, how actually Amazon give advantage to your competition. For example, if this is your product, and this is on you know, the left hand side is this is the what you get when you accessing product. This is the second, the second page is in the middle. Okay, so you have the pictures, you have the price. You still don't get description or the bullets, okay? And then Amazon showing uh, the shoppers potential other products. Even before this, they have any interaction with your product or they didn't see your description, they give the options to see comp uh, competing products. So it's very important to invest and in, and in, in, in uh, advertising on your competition. And one thing I really want to emphasize that 40% of the total sales 
derives from product targeting. So it's very high uh, converting tactics that can be, that needs to be used. Product targeting is one of the most efficient advertising strategies, okay? 40% of the total sales arrive from product targeting. It's very good when you're launching a new product. Try to use these tactics when you're launching a new product and target uh, your competitors, which has higher prices than your product. If you have new features, it will also help you with your competition. If you have some more benefits, so it will also help you. But then you can target a product which are less good than yours, okay? Now, try to utilize the data collected on your campaigns to improve your product targeting, okay? Download the reports, download the advertising reports, and understand which competitive assets your product selling on. So utilize this information. You can also uh, use other met, uh, tactics when like using a, a software like Helium 10 and identify relevant competitors. And I will show you uh, a screenshot from Helium 10. Actually, when you go into the black box, you can go to target, you entering your assign, okay? And then you can filter it with your with specific price or minimum price and review counts. Okay, and then actually the, you get a report when you have different products found. And over here you can find the relevant products or competitors that you can uh, target as uh, for your competitors, uh, competitor advertising. Another tactics that we want, that I want to share with you is actually how to improve your organic ranking, okay? So, for example, I, I use sometimes Helium 10 on the cerebral tools. You can search your product testing on the cerebral tools. You can filter the search volume to minimum 500 searches. Over there, you can see on the right-hand side the phrases that they are list listing on your organic rank. And you need to identify which specific keywords are ranking on the second and the third page. You're checking out these keywords, and then you can set up a manual campaign based on these specific keywords and it will help them to be promoting into the first page so it improved their organic ranking on these specific keywords try at the beginning try with a, a low bids of 0 0.7 0 0.8 dollars per bid if it doesn't move along try to to improve the bidding okay but it's help you organically to 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 make more sales on them and to give them more impressions Another tactic is how to promote your conver converting keywords, okay? So download the Amazon keywords reports, okay? And identify which keywords are the most converting. Take one or two keywords from, or the most uh, converting keywords that has also a good rank, and then create a new uh, ex uh, exact campaign specifically for these keywords. On, on the parameter over there, try to set up 30 cents per bid as a minimum bid, okay? With a budget of between 30 to $30 and allow the auto bid to increase between 200 to 900. Set up the bid to 30 cents, okay? And set up the, the daily budget to minimum 20, $30 a day. And then allow the auto bid to increase between 300 to 900%. And you can put it over here, over in the placement, you can on the top of the search, set up the, the bid just for 400 and what will happen it it will give you the opportunity to get impressions very cheaply okay it will help you to convert more and more sales based on the specific keywords which are very good you get you get the opportunity to get low bids on this specific keyword a new thing that amazon launched recently is the spots and display it's good for brand owners, okay? People that has registered, registered brand with Amazon. And you can do a remarketing campaign based on sponsor display. And a, a small tip, and I'm not going to get into the details about that. Actually, the, the, the display ads will go after a potential shoppers that visited your product. 
So it go outside of Amazon and is targeting shoppers that was visiting your product in a specific time. Since, because of uh, Amazon is targeting outside of Amazon, okay, from Google's or any other platform they have cooperation with, try to set up low bids for this type of campaigns. Because many times the shopper already left your product, maybe will not come back to your product. So, but sometimes it's, it's worthwhile because they still didn't make the decision and they will, when they see it and do the remarketing, uh, they will decide uh, to go back to your product. So I give you a few, few words about PPC Winner and how does it work. So I said PPC Winner is automatically create and manage your PPC campaigns. Uh, the way it works on the back end, once you're launching your campaigns and it takes less than two minutes, the system will go and conduct automatic keywords research. It will go to your history or your product history. It will go to your competition and it will check also on Amazon data and will create a bank of keywords between 20 to 30 or to 40 type of keywords that are relevant to your product and start create, optimizing their bids. At the beginning, they're set up for the research period when it's about two to three weeks time when they're researching out and, and collecting data from Amazon. And the next stage will be optimizing the bids. Once they start optimizing the bids, they are moving the keywords between four type of campaigns that PPC winner is launching when, when they're launching of the, the campaign. And it's the, the system also adjusts the budget automatically between the different campaign. Another thing that the system will do is, is moving out the negative keywords out of campaign. So the main benefit actually uh, you're getting is that you don't need to learn advertising. You need to, don't need to know how to operate an advertising system. Everything is fully automated and it's been creating all the different uh, methodologies and, and the thing that we are learned in doing thousands of campaigns for you. It will use you the advertising cost, the algorithm, it's very uh, sophisticated algorithm, knows how to uh, reduce and how to take the right bids and offering the right bids. It will help you increase your sales, creating your PPC sales. Automatically, it will improve your organic ranking because you're creating this sales with PPC, you are converting it on specific keywords. The keywords are improving their ranking and they're generating more organic sales. And most important, they're saving your time to invest in your business. You can take off uh, your time from doing PPC and investing it in other elements of your business so you can grow your business. And they are just to show quick case that from campaigns they are managing, you can see how much the, the, the campaign spend and what are the end results and the sales. And I have a special offer for Orange Click over here. Uh, anyone that register to our gold package, okay, and uh, using coupon code Orange Click will get, and, and listen that carefully, they get two months subscription to PPC winner for $74.50, okay? They get three months subscription to Helium 10 for free. And they get a product targeting campaign that I was discussing. One of our experts will help you setting it up. So the total value of this package, you are saving $466 and you pay only $74.50. Okay, you have two months PPC winner. You get three months Helium 10 and a, a targeting campaign. So the, it's, it's limited to only the first 20, uh, first, 20 registers, so go now and, and uh, access ppcwinner.com uh, utilizing this uh, opportunity. All right, thank you very much, Asaf. Uh, thank you for your tips and uh, see you in the next videos. Good luck in your business, bye-bye. Thank you very much, Gustav. I hope you enjoyed this video with PPC Winner. If you would like to get notifications uh, about new videos with different service providers, Amazon experts, software creators, as well as uh, event organizers for Amazon sellers, don't forget to subscribe below to the YouTube channel and click the notification bell as well. And uh, see you in the next video.